For at TV, the world is thinking. Okay, so what I want to do really while I'm here is show you what computer hackers are up to. Because to me, the mindset cultivated by hackers is fantastic. I mean, this is a playground where innovation is inevitable. Because what's going on in the mind of a hacker is really what I think is necessary to help you discover new possibilities, right? What I like to say is that, you know, if you give me some random device, I'm going to ask you, you know, as an average human being, I'm going to say, well, what does this do? No, oh, it's a phone. Oh, okay, got it. It's a phone. Give it to a computer hacker, and they're going to say, well, what can I make this do? And they're going to want to take it apart. I've taken this phone apart, actually, to hack it. It's an iPhone. It's a pain in the ass to put these things back together. And what I want to find out is what's inside. You know, how did they make this? You know, how thick is that multi-touch display after all? How much of this is battery? Does anybody else here know? At least half of this thing is battery. And there's all kinds of fascinating things that you learn by taking things apart, right? Disassembling everything in your environment, figuring out what it's made out of, what those pieces are, and then Revisiting everything you made in the past, you know, revisiting every, all, the, all the computers and all the gadgets and all the processes and all the systems that you ever built and say, can we reinvent them now knowing what we know, knowing that we can run a phone like this with a processor like this for this long with a screen like this. I mean, there's new information with technology and that's fundamentally what I think technology is about. Technology is revisiting everything that you ever wanted to do every time you get some new capability, some new science, some new thing to work with. Okay, so for fun, we're going to talk about uh, just some fun things hackers can do. Okay, so I'm staying in a hotel room, not unlike this one. I do a lot of that these days, and they're all pretty freaking boring. But computer hacker goes into a room like this and says, well, what can I mess with? <laughs> <laughs> Most obvious thing, uh, Maybe not necessarily, but one that's fun is the television. That television is not like the television at your home. It's on a network with all the other televisions in the hotel, right? <laughs> There's no handy interface, so I had to bring my own. This is a USB infrared transceiver. It's like a remote control you use for a um, television, except that I control it with my computer and I can make it send any code I want, not just the ones hooked up to buttons on the remote. Turns out these codes are good for things like, you know, watching movies, which you're normally supposed to have to pay for. What, playing video games you're supposed to normally have to pay for. Big deal. But I can also change the channel on my TV to, to watch those movies. I can also change the channel on your TV in your hotel room. <laughs> so I, could, I get to decide whether you're watching Disney or porn tonight, right? I can watch you check out, see, you you know, put in your credit card number and check out in your room if they have a system like that. If there's one of these keyboard things hooked up, it's probably for web browsing. So I can watch you surf the web, right? Sometimes there's computer systems on these computer networks in hotels that they just, you know, once you got a network, well, you find things to do with it. And sometimes they plug computers in. Well, I can control those things sometimes, right? Find all kinds of back office shit in hotels. Okay, so I can watch you, you know, log into eBay, log into your banking, doing funds transfers, some really big funds transfers. <laughs> you know, some, you know, depends on what you're, uh, you know, depends on who's in the hotel and what they're into. You know, it's all, it's far more entertaining than television, I can tell you. Okay, so. You know, you never know what, what the folks in your hotel are going to be looking for. Okay. Oh, you guys are more fun than the, than the Germans I spoke to last. Um, okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> the Germans were great. It's just they didn't laugh at any of my jokes. 